secret lab has escaped detection for years, decades. But that ends tonight, when it is time that we experiment upon some unwitting and unwary musical miscreants in the name of science. I am Dr. Milo T. Pinkerton III, and tonight we shall find out if they can escape from the secret lab. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings out there, lovers of science, especially you lovers of mad science. And welcome to my secret lab, that wretched hive of scum and villainy hidden deep beneath the city of New Orleans. I am your host, Dr. Milo T. Pinkerton III, founder and leader of the Consortium of Genius, that collection of hard, rocking scientists known universally as the COG. COG! Excellent. Now then. As you no doubt know, every week we captured an unwitting band of musical morons and ensconced them right here in my specially designed laboratory to see if they are worthy or, dare I even say it, dangerous computer. What does our automated band trap call for us tonight? A pop band, Dr. Pinkerton. Pop? Why, that term could mean father, soft drink, or small liquidy explosion. Please clarify, computer. Popular music, Dr. Pinkerton. You wouldn't want to experiment on an unpopular band, would you? Semantics. The term pop music describes music that is popular and includes many different styles. The genre originated in its modern form during the mid-1950s in the United States and the UK, encompassing youth-oriented music that is commercial, ephemeral, and accessible. Notable pop acts include ABBA, Taylor Swift, and Lady Gaga. Ginger and the Bee are a pop band from New Orleans, Louisiana. Members Sherry Mons and Scott Prelo started writing and recording music together in 2015. Aided by Grammy Award winner Chris Finney, the band published their self-titled debut release in 2017. Fascinating! Computer! Give me an audio sonic preview of this band before we meet them! Affirmative, Dr. Pinkerton. Don't wanna say enough. 
Welcome to my secret lab, Ginger and the Bee. As you can see, I've miniaturized you. <laughs> You're now properly insect-sized. The three of you are now imprisoned in a miniature copy of my secret lab. And don't bother attempting to escape. The entire room is heavily booby-trapped, so you'll be caught here for a little while, whether you like it or love it. Now then, you're going to be forced to play my little game tonight. And the rules of the game are quite simple. Naturally, you all wish to survive the night, but of course, that is in the hands of you viewers! You viewers out there will determine the band's fate! Will it be life or death? Death, death. All right, plainly visible at the top of the screen are two scores, the lab and the band. When you donate a dollar to the band via PayPal, it becomes a point toward the band's score. But when you donate a point toward the secret lab, it becomes a point in my favor. And I've programmed computer to display the names of our beloved donors on screen, including the highest donor who will receive a prize like this. <laughs> it only costs one dollar to get your name on the screen, so do it. Don't hold back. You've got PayPal. What do you need that dollar for? Nothing important. All right. Whoever has the higher score at the end of the night wins. And if the band wins, they'll receive, thank you, this beautiful plaque and be allowed to leave my luxurious lab. But if the lab wins, <laughs> let's just say a cruel and grisly fate awaits you, Ginger and me. So you better play like your lives depend upon it, because guess what? Your lives depend upon it. Oh, and um, by the way, you will also be entertaining our robot audience. Hey, boss, is this Ginger dude a worker bee or just another drone? Silence, drumbot! All right, Ginger and the bee, you have 15 minutes to impress me and all these nice people watching you. Ready? Do it! I command it!
to go Look around Over it She just died The muse inside She just died I sink in fear Morning one You're so happy Over it She just died The muse inside She just died
control, all right! <laughs>
guitar. You, you don't want to play guitar. You want to play theremin. Theremin. I'm going to get it through your thick skulls before you, well, before whatever happens to you happens to you. Ah, but first, we're going to be competing at a little bit of old school centipede in the arcade room of Digital Doom. Band, who is your gaming champion tonight? She is, isn't she? She looks like a centipede player. All, All right. right. I think she's a ringer, Dr. Pickerton. We're going to unshrink her, at least, and compete on the game grid after these words from our sponsor. Are you experiencing science pattern baldness? Is hair loss getting in the way of your important research? Have your experiments been failing due to falling follicles? Now, there's an answer. The Consortium of Genius presents Dr. Pinkerton's Hair Club for Scientists. Simply take 15 of the specially formulated, scientifically enhanced hair regenerating pills a day, and in a few months, you'll experience a level of hair growth unheard of since 1987. Warning, do not exceed daily recommended doses. Ah! And robots appreciate it too. Ah, uh, thanks Dr. Pinkerton. Can I go now? Our products are tested extensively on cute, furry little animals, so we know they'll be safe on right, you. Squirrel, are you going to submit quietly or are you going to have to be tricked and Prolonged use may lead to dizziness, trouble breathing, and loss of sight. Consult your physician to find out whether Pinkerton's hair formula for scientists is right for you, especially if you were just a guy dressed up as a scientist. Pinkerton hair formula for scientists is scientifically proven to regrow hair against both the divine intent of the Almighty and the mighty forces of nature for your money back. And remember, not only am I the president of the hair club for scientists, but I'm also a scientist! Also available, hair club for mad scientists. And not not only am I a scientist, but I'm also a mad scientist! <laughs> to order, simply pick up the phone and dial any number. We'll eavesdrop on your phone call and rush you a bottle of Pinkerton's hair formula for scientists. Offer not valid in Transylvania or legal in all 50 states. Supplies limited, order today, or face the horrible, horrible consequences. <laughs> Welcome back! to the escape from the secret lab. I think we need a new sponsor, but first it's time for us to compete in the arcade room of Digital Doom. What? All right, welcome to the arcade room. Uh, come over here. Oh, yes. Come, 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 come. You're the B, aren't you? I Bee. You're a bee. Uh, you, you don't look much like a bee, except for that thing you've got around your neck. That's... Ah, I see. All right, I'll transmogrify you back into an insect in a few minutes. But first, we're going to compete in Centipede from 1980, the first arcade game programmed by a woman, Donna Bailey, in 1980. So, <clears throat> here's your controller. Originally, this game was played with a trackball, but we only have one trackball here, and that wouldn't be fair to her, would it? So... Here we go. Computer, put up two players, and we're going to compete in Centipede. Me first, as always. All right, here we go. Crank it up. I love the tune in this game. Oh, come on, you. Ledger and controller. Of course, you've got to zap everything in the garden, just like in the real world. With lasers, just like you would normally uh, gardening uh, with, with lasers and blasters and smart bombs. Okay, come on. Okay. Spider, points. Okay. There's a few of those are a little dangerous. Worth the points. Oh, be careful, Dr. Prickenden. I'm never careful. Th things are coming down at you. Yes. Destroy them all. You. I can flatten you. I can ah! Stop no, trying I to distract me, Dr. Z. Look at that. You've given her an end. No, 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 no. You, you weren't paying attention bee. to the spider coming after you. Zap everything. Including your fellow bees. The queen of this garden. 
Actually, there are no bees in this game, are there? I didn't think so. Who are the idiots that voted on this game? I don't know. I, th I, th I, thought, I thought you should do the ColecoVision uh, Ladybug game. That was very cool. Yes, or, or uh, Donkey Kong 3. That had plenty of bees. Hundreds of bees. But no! No! They had to, they had to get a game with, with, with centipedes and, and spiders and no bees! She, she just got... Uh, Excellent! All right, my turn. There. All right, here we go. Low scoring tonight. Low scoring game tonight. I can't help it if you both suck. Silence! Maybe I should have picked up the trackball just for myself. Maybe you should have had your, uh, your computer play it. I understand the computer's very good at this game. Silence! Ah! Damn it! All right, B. Yes, yes, yes. Complaints, complaints. Soon you'll be complaining that there's not enough air in here, or, or, or haven't had any water in 48 hours, or, 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 or maybe you feed us every once in a while, other than bugs and spiders. Well, sorry! It's a secret lab, you know. Ah, but bugs and spiders are high in protein. Ah, I see she's of the press every shot school of thought instead of the machine gun those centipedes into submission school of thought. Guess which school of thought I subscribe to? Ah! Getting squashed by a spider's school of thought? All right, silence. All right, here we go. I'm still doubling her score. I'm more than doubling her score. There we go. Come on. Yes, I need a lizard. I need to... Ah! Well, that way she'll be catching up quite soon. All right. If she, if she, gets, a, if she gets an extra life, I'm going to eat this lab coat. You'll see it here. Right in a few minutes if she... If she actually gets that far, there's no way. She's just a bee. She's not some sort of, oh, I don't know, arachnid or something. Maybe she's a queen bee. Oh, in other words, her workers would be playing the game for her, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> you got the spider before it got you. That is very good. Yeah, yeah, she's getting there, Dr. Z. Oh! <laughs> Excellent! Oh, she didn't quite beat you, but she came very close. All right, so we're going to divide the scores by 100. Thank you very much, B. Now, be gone. B, be leaving. So, so 77 to 64. 77 points for me, 64 points for the B. All right. Well, at this point now, you should be wondering when we're going to get back to escaping and music and stuff. But first, it is time to ask the serious questions. So everybody... Pose the serious questions in the chat, and uh, meanwhile, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for, idiots? And uh, we're going to have a little party, and then, of course, Dr. Z will be asking the tough questions. So, so get ahead. your questions in. Yes. I won't be able to ask your questions if you don't get them in. All right, all right. Oh, oh, yes. And here, first for you, is a little retro throwback to that time I took over the entire internet. So what? watch this, yeah. The internet is mine. Oh, no. Oh, God, my. no. Yeah. This, is, this is terrible. Oh, <laughs> oh no, It's no, terrible. We can't subject to this. Cyberspace. All the rage. Your parents didn't have it when they were your age. The internet's the place to be. Somebody's got to rule it. That someone is me, 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 me. I the internet. The internet is mine Get on the internet I run it all the time I run the internet The internet is mine I like the internet Now get yourself online Here's where we put the cats Here's where we put the porn Log into CompuServe Let's have an online war Stop watching your TV It's filled with talking heads Don't listen to CDs Try watching me instead I run the internet My surf. There's fun activities. Ignore the virus risk. Reboot your modem, please. From your AOL di di disc. 
Dr. Pinkerton seems to have gotten himself stuck in the internet, and I have no idea how to get him out, Dr. Simi. Well, perhaps we should consult a more prestigious mind. What mind could be more prestigious than yours of mine? We can call Dr. Morgus? Dr. Who? You like the bombs of face before they get exploded. The rhythm smacks your face. Prepare to be uploaded. You dream in black and white. I dream in ones and O's. The sound is oh so tight. Binary rock and roll. Morgan's here. Dr. Morgan's is Dr. Z of the Consortium of Genius. It's Dr. Pinkerton. He's stuck in the internet. Oh, I knew this would happen. Oh, oh, oh. oh gosh, he's digitized, of course. Oh, that idiot. Uh, listen, uh, do you want to get him out of there? I guess that would be more preferable. Well, listen, oh, all you have to do is get a 3D printer, okay? Uh, by the way, if you do, uh, <laughs> print him out in black and white. <laughs> well, he's already two-dimensional. And black and white. Oh, uh, if you have any trouble over there, I can always send Chomsley, okay? Oh, no, 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 don't do that! Oh, F-13 and Chomsley would not get along! Dr. Z, is this the biggest 3D printer we could get? Well, it's the biggest 3D printer we could afford? Well, it'll have to do. Let's see here. Mm. Let's see what we got. What? Is, the, is that it? Well, of course. What else would you expect? Well, at least now his size is equivalent to his IQ. Well, there's that. Oh, sorry. Oh, what the? Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I won't tell anyone if you don't. Uh, maybe that's best. Uh, I tell you what. Let's just use the most recent backup. I think we backed him up last year, just before the election. That's a good idea. You go that way, I'll go home. Wait, what? <sighs> Whoa, what a mess. I think you two are gonna be in big trouble. Yeah. I'm sure you viewers out there have many questions you'd like to ask this enticing and scintillating band. Type them into the chat window on YouTube and Dr. Z will get the band to answer them on pain of torture. Meanwhile, pay attention to your screens. The name of the highest donor is displayed at the bottom. Whoever has the highest donation by the end of the night shall receive this instant henchman kit containing a Tyvek lab coat and a badge that you can actually use to sneak into the secret lab and not be captured. How do you like that for once? All right, Dr. Z. What kind of amazing questions have people been demanding that this band regurgitate? Hmm? Well, uh, Dr. Pickerton, it's uh, not, not very many uh, questions here, but we do have a couple. Shape up, idiots! Okay, so uh, the first question that we have is, is, uh, is ginger ale really made from the blood of gingers? Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, you heard it here first. <laughs> it, it is actually true. Um, Insults. People, people talking about I cutting... I expect a gingivitis question any moment. a bunch of stuff about people cutting off fingers and stuff. That, fingers. That, but that doesn't have anything to do with this band. No. Um, have you ever faced a murder hornet? I hear they eat bees. Oh. No. Have you? You know, um, quarantine kind of keeps me from running into murder hornets. But if there's any in this lab, I'm going to duck and hide. Oh, murder happens around here all the time. All the cog damned time. <laughs> Yes, you but you don't remember most of it. Anyway, what? um, oh, never mind. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. You, you, you did not do that. Um, so anyway, uh, what are some of your influences? Hmm, not murder hornets, and not bees, <laughs> and not honey. See, none of the obvious things. Maybe honey nut Cheerios, perhaps. Plain Cheerios for life. Plain Cheerios, plain not Cheerios. honey nut Cheerios. No, no flavors, no. just plain. No, that's no. right. You're the if ginger. If I want flavors, place, that's right. I am the ginger. You, you have no soul. I have no soul. As a matter yes. of fact, that's that's my secret weapon. Keep it up, and I may take yours. God damn it! We've been getting a lot of money for those souls in the open market, Doctor Z. Well, we can't get anything from him. Well, but the other two, the other two are, the the two are fair, gra yes. fair game. Yes. What kind of cute name does the drummer have, anyway? Oh, the Not drummer? He, he's just along for the ride. The drummer, Smoke. He is Smoke. Smoke. I like that. We could make that happen, Dr. Z. Ginger and the bee and the smoke. Yes. That's about right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. So uh, when, when, when you're not dealing with the COVIDs, what, uh, what venues are you playing? 
Hmm. When we're not dealing with the COVIDs, we like to play. Uh, we play in the Metri area. Uh, we play at the Twist of Lime. They've had they've had us there. Uh, Southport Hall. Southport Hall. Yeah, we I'm played there as well. I'm uh, Portside. Uh, the Southport. Portside Lounge. Uh-huh. Yeah. Played there. Awesome. They're very kind to Excellent. us as well. Excellent. That's right. Um, you know we, and then and we then we did do Gretna Fest once. Wow. We did in in the great once. city of Gretna. And their they, festival. I, I imagine they've disbarred you from the area. For we day. have not been asked <laughs> we, back. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Well played. We yeah we did well. <laughs> Was there ever more uh, members in the band or just three? Uh, there we actually made clones. So that we could perform more, because just us three wasn't cutting it. So we had other players, and then uh, then we decided we're just going to stick it back to three, and we stuck it with him. Fascinating. I I've actually investigated cloning technology myself. I was trying to clone myself. It didn't work out, but uh, no, I'm, no, 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 it, it never works out. No, I'm I'm keeping I'm keeping up that line of research though, and I shall have to rifle through your papers. Okay. Yes. If you let and us then one day there will be two of me. <laughs> Watch out, world. <laughs> what else? You got? Uh, someone asked, "Is the drummer Star Lord?" <laughs> um, and and is... there were many compliments about the, uh, the the effects that you've been using on your bass. Ah, thank you, thank you. Not that, really question, that... but you know, but people said they liked it. Oh, well, that's good. It's a lot of a lot of hard work to make it not suck. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to have to work a lot harder to escape from the secret lab. Oh, but, but someone did ask, what are the effects on the bass? Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a secret. I can't give out oh. that information. Okay. Lots of really effects and effects. So they will not divulge that, uh, the answer to that question. These Sorry. questions are getting tiresome. I want to hear more pop music. Pop, pop music? Pop, pop, pop music, music. Pop, yes. Pop, pop music. Talk about pop music. Yes. Pop Rock music. about. Yes, do it. Pop music. Do it. I command that you resume.
Some trouble getting past the word, maybe. Or I don't know right now because this is the way, see. I think this is the end. Yes, 
of his coffee stuck in a rut thoughts of the day at the bottom of the cup this is how i meet my hero this is how i meet my hero this is how i change my zero to one familiar? Huh. All right. Not too bad. But the game's almost up, and soon the fate of these three individuals will be sealed, decided by you. Will they die horribly? Yes, you want them to die horribly. Or will they be candidates perhaps for a little brain surgery? Well, well, Dr. Pinkerton, <laughs> what? Well, could you tell the audience once again uh, how they could get this band to die or not die? Well, all you need to do is donate your ducats to our PayPal address. It's at the bottom of the screen right there, and there's links to it on the side. And look, those who donate can have a chance at getting this amazing and very useful 
but so the henchman high, kit. So the highest donor to the uh, to the lab gets that. That's right. And do, does the bee have anything to give to their highest donor? We do. Ah, oh, yes. Let's take a look. Stuff. Is it worthy? It is. T-shirts. T-shirts. Buttons. Remember CDs? And is that a, a CD, CD in there? C it is CD. A CD. Oh, a CD? Like school. You want, you want that, don't you? But that T-shirt, man. I know it's not 2002, but still. <laughs> it could CD. be. It could be if you donate hard enough. We'll rotate the clock backwards as hard as we can. All right. Uh, but Dr. Pickett, didn't your sister steal the... Uh, Silence! Dinner? I don't want to hear about that anymore. Ever. All right. Now then, I believe it's time to party. All right, guys. Let's have a science party because it's time to party now. Go, go! Lamp coats and carry in a portable telescope to the science party. Science party. Science party. In the laboratory of love. Hey, someone's got the test tube. And now, Ginger and the Bee, who would escape the secret lab must answer me these questions. Three, air the other side, they see. You will have 10 seconds to answer these difficult questions. If you know the answer, you will gain 100 points. And if you do not know the answer, the 100 points will go to me. <laughs> and you're not permitted to look it up either. If you do look it up on your phone, I will receive 200 points. All right, computer, ask the questions. What is your name? <laughs> Sherry. Scott. Chris. All right, I'll allow it. <laughs> Next question. How do you intend to take over the world? The same way we do every night, Pinky. Nobody calls me Pinky! <laughs> Oh, uh, no, there are quite a, few, quite a few people that call you Pinky, Dr. Uh, all right, all right, our next question, just to get past that one. What are the last three notes on a standard 88-key piano keyboard? Mmm, oh no looking at your phones. Ten, nine, eight, quiet, seven, six. 
y five, four, three, two, one, and E flat B C. B flat B C. E flat B C. B flat. B flat. Numbers and letters. <laughs> Just give us the points. <laughs> what? I, I, I didn't even really catch what they said. Well, something about B flat. What they said was wrong. Oh wrong. You've got a keyboard on you. You could have looked at the keyboard. <laughs> hey, we're not cheaters. But no, no, computer. <laughs> add a hundred points to the lab. <laughs> I love these questions! Who writes these questions? I must give them a commendation at my next possible... All right, you have one chance left. It looks like you're a little behind. It looks like it what looks about, like what? I might be able to get what a about few more. Behind? Damn, they're, 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 they're behind my score! Oh, I, 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 I thought I might you were talking some, about a little behind. Some brain sample. No, wrong. Stop making that joke. It's All not right. a joke. Silence! I'm talking about the little behind. All right. Band, you have one last chance to get enough points to earn your freedom. Now is the time for you to play your best song! Will it put you over the top? Your own fans will decide that by their donations. So remember, each dollar buys this band a point toward their freedom. What? Don't give it to them, give it to me. All right! They need a lot more if they want to win. <laughs> and? Well, actually, no, it's actually quite close. Ready to rock? It? Yes, yeah. it is very close, but of course the people will want this. Nice Tyvek lab coat and, and, and what badge and, and oh, there's a button in here. There's all sorts of things in here. So, the choice is yours, America. Ready? I think I think they're going to try to prove their superiority by rocking extra hard. All right, Ginger and the Bee, hit it!
was an excellent evil laugh, B, but it, you've, you've almost got it right. It's not quite like that. It's more like... <laughs> all right, all right. Keep studying, though. You'll get there eventually. Now then, we're going to take a short break and tally up all the points. If you haven't donated yet to the lab or the band, now is your final chance to influence the outcome. Remember, each dollar you donate adds to the score. One dollar per point. Please make sure to donate to me, the lab. All right, when we come back, it'll be time to pass judgment on Ginger and the Bee, so don't fly away. Hello, I am Dr. Milo T. Pinkerton III, founder and leader of the Consortium of Genius and next ruler of the world. What do you mean you've never heard of me? <laughs> well, you will. Next thing you'll be saying is that you've never heard of the Thetterman either. What? You've never heard of the Thetterman? Why, it's only the most weird and fascinating musical instrument ever invented. Why? Why? Well, oh, for starters, it was one of the first electronic musical instruments invented in 1919 by a genius named Professor Leon Thetterman and patented ten years later. Professor Thetterman created many other great inventions years ahead of his time, and some people called him mad. Mad, I tell you! You certainly don't have to be mad to play this instrument. Observe. <laughs> the Thetterman operates by using heterodyne oscillators, a fancy scientific term for the process of producing a musical tone by adding together two higher pitched tones. But, and this is a Big butt! Yeah, you sure do have a big butt. Silence, Drumbot! Now, as I was saying, you don't have to know that to play the Thetterman. Take a look. The standard Thetterman has two antennae sticking out of it, a vertical one for manipulating pitch and a horizontal one for controlling volume. The horizontal antenna's job is simple. Bringing your hand close to it turns down the volume until you get silence. Silence! The vertical one is more interesting. The nearer you bring your hand, the higher the frequency. You can make it higher, and higher, and higher still, until every canine in the neighborhood can enjoy your amazing sounds. <laughs> <clears throat> As I was saying, the theremin was one of the very first electronic musical instruments. Many other electronic instruments have been created since then. Synthesizers, organs, electric guitars of every size, shape, color. But fortunately, nothing sounds like the Thetterman. They say the sound of the Thetterman can drive some people out of their minds. So what are you waiting for? There's a Thetterman over there you can try out for yourself. My advice to you is go for it. What have you got to lose? But your sanity! <laughs> All right, Ginger and the Bee. Seems that the moment is upon us. You have somehow earned 316 points? How could this be, Dr. Z? Uh, well, more people contributed to them. Uh -huh. that, that's the way it works. All right, You just set right. up the rules to this game. Next time, I'm going to invert these rules. But, therefore, it is my distinct displeasure to award you with this commemorative plaque. So, gather around, Dr. Z. Take the photo. All right, got oh, the yeah. photo. Excellent. All right, B, fly away. Ginger, get out of here. Okay, come, come Smoke, down. Smoke, blow right off. This way, uh, down the hallway. All uh, right. Second left. Right. Second door on the left. Well, the B, the B can go to the and third no door on the right. And no more bees will ever be allowed in here. I'm, I'm telling you, we're going to make this place insect proof. How are you going to do that, Dr. Pickerton? What? Wait. Who let these bees in here? The for you to enter, waiting to enter you. Until next time, try to stay in your abode.
Alert! Bonus round! Alright! We got through the bonus round because Ginger and the Bee, they made it up to over 300 points. Thanks to you. Good job, guys. All right. So you get to play it as much as you want. If you want more song, you can play covers. You can play whatever you want to do. So take it away, Ginger and the Bee. Yo, the reason I'm riding around on recap tires. Yo, the reason I'm hanging my clothes out on wires. Yo, the reason our kids are ugly, little darling. Looks ain't everything, money ain't everything, but I love you just the same. You're the reason I'm riding around on recap tires. You're the reason I'm hanging my clothes out on wires. You're, You're the, the reason, reason our kids are ugly, ugly little, little darling. darling. Looks ain't everything, the money ain't everything, but I love you just the same. You're the reason I switched to beer from soda pop. You're the reason I never go to the beauty shop. You're, You're the reason, reason our kids are ugly, little darling. Looks ain't everything, the money ain't everything, but I love you just the same. Well, I guess that we will never have everything we need. Cause when we get ahead, it's got another mouth to feed. One, two, three, yeah! You're the reason that my good looking figure's gone. You're the reason that I ain't got no head to comb. You're the reason I keep her up there, little dog. Fantastic! Oh, hey, okay, that was very good. Okay, so remember, every Friday night at 8 p.m. Central, get it right here for Escape from the Secret Lab.com.